With the Illinois legislature in session, agricultural groups are monitoring bills that would either help or hinder the state's agricultural economy. WCIA3's ag reporter Stu Ellis joined them during their lobbying efforts and has more in this morning's report from the farm. Agricultural lobbyists are watching dozens of bills, but are pushing hard against one that would hamper expansion of ethanol production in Illinois, says President Bill Lee of the Illinois Corn Growers. 1407 really has effect on the ethanol industry in a lot of ways, uh, basically stating that any new construction or safety construction has to be done by union labor. And there are the, the companies that build new ethanol plants basically have their own workforce and it's an in-house operation, turnkey, and it's difficult to work it in. Oftentimes they're also very much rural areas, I think, where it's hard to get the workforce to come in there. Um, the idea is it could cost uh, an additional 25 to 30 million dollars the development of a new ethanol plant. An Illinois Farm Bureau President Rich Gebert urged the farm organization leaders to request a no vote on the legislation. 42 percent of Illinois corn goes through an ethanol plant. 20 percent of the distiller's grains are fed to livestock here in the state of Illinois. It provides an opportunity, another avenue for us to market the goods that we so uh, well raise here in this state, and that's corn or soybeans that are made into biodiesel. So I'd like to ask for you, as you visit around with the state representatives here today, is ask them to vote no on Senate Bill 1407. The legislation has passed the Senate. It's ready for a vote in the House. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA 3, your local news leader.